Hello and welcome to Infinity. When you're using colors, it's very common to use the color panel up here to choose the color you're going to use and it appears in the main color here or you can use the sliders or the other controls to vary that. Sometimes though, it's also useful to be able to pick up a color a bit more without having to be completely variable and have a limited set. And this is where the swatches comes in, but it also does a number of other things. But first of all, you can see immediately I've got a set of colors here and I can scroll the mouse wheel to find the color I want. But also if I drop this down here, I can bring other palettes in. So for example, the grays there, I get the, the colors, you know, just black and white, steadily going from gray to white, so I can pick those. Down here, by the way, these pan tones, don't worry about those unless you are a printer or a graphic artist, because here you see you end up with just lots of very similar looking colors. And we each have got names. As you go over each one of these, if there's a name, it'll show it to you. But most of the time, something like the colors and something we'll show about more about in a future video, other ways you can get extra palettes in here. So how else can you use this? Well, let's say let's pick a color from here, the one that might match in there. So maybe a slightly orangey one here. And I can paint on here. You can see where it's actually going to show because I've got the paintbrush here. Maybe I'll take the, the opacity down a bit so it doesn't overdo it. And I can paint gradually over here and I can bring out the colours and maybe tone down some of the areas which are a little bit too bright or burned out or so on. I can also do something like I can use up here the picker up there to come down say, and pick a colour say a grey here, which I'll then click on the grey to put it into the, the main colour here. And I can then change my brush size and paint over areas where it's kind of burnt out a bit. But what if I want to go back and do some of that more orange stuff? I want the exact colour I had before, but I've got it here where it says recent. See here are the recent colours I've used. So I can click on that orange again and now I can start using that exact color again. So just being able to go back and use recent colors, that's immediately a very useful thing that Swatches does. Here's something else. Down here, you've got these colors there on all Swatches panels, and it means the white with the line through it means no color at all, effectively transparent. Then black, middle gray, and white. A way you might use this is put in a, an extra pixel layer here, then go to the flood fill tool and I want to fill this up, but I want to fill this up with mid gray, but it's going to use the main color here, the color in front. So if I click on gray there, that immediately gives me middle gray. So I click on here, I've got that middle gray. And the reason for that middle gray is because if I change the blend mode here down to overlay, it effectively makes it transparent. Now then I could again switch now to black and take a big paintbrush, here you go, do it again, switch to black, there we go. Now then, if I paint on here, I'll darken it. And if I switch to white, I'll lighten it. And so you can use this in different ways. And here's a tip for when you're doing something like this. If you take a dark soft brush and you paint around the edge, like this. It's kind of darkening the background, but when you're darkening the background there, you're actually going to make the bird here stand out because the contrast is greater. Look, if I turn the that one off there and that one on, see the way the bird jumps out more? Anyway, that's a by the by useful tip. Another thing you can do if I just delete that layer is if you're doing something like a layer, a uh, new fill layer, if I, for example, want to color that with an orange color, I could go back to the that recent one over there. Now I've got that orange, but what if I go down to my blend modes here, go down to something like soft light, and it gives it an orange tint. And I can bring this all the way down here. But if I want to change that orange, say, I've also got it up here. If I click here, notice it's got the color here, 
but I've also got swatches. Whenever you up here you've got a colour, you'll often have the swatches in this, and then I could use colours from here. So I could pick another colour, you know, that I might want to use. Let's try it with a darker red overtone. See, I can click and see what they are here and get different effects. So there we go. That's enough for now. That's a few uses and shows you overall what the swatches panel looks like. Next time we're going to go into more detail of how to use it. So thank you very much for watching.